Hey guys, this is Jeremy with Gadgetel.com and I wanted to show you this device that I picked up at CES 2012 from Kingston. And this is the Kingston Wide Drive. Now this is compatible with the iPhone, the iPod Touch, and the iPad, and it's basically wireless storage for those devices. So for example, if you want it to have a lot of videos, if you want to look at a lot of videos on your iOS device and you just don't have the storage for it on the device itself or if you just don't want to use up so much storage to put it on those devices, then you can just use the Y drive by plugging it into your computer and drag and drop files just as you would any other kind of USB storage drive and by using an app, a free app that you can get from the App Store, you can connect your iOS device to the Y Drive and you can look at those videos or listen to the music or photos or some documents, uh, anything that you can natively view on an iOS device, you can store it on this Y Drive and just view it from there. This is the uh, 16 gigabyte model, it's also a 32 gigabyte model I believe and Kingston is playing around with the idea of having a model that has um, a SD card slot so you can expand that storage but uh, more on that as we get it so I just wanted to open this up for you so we can see what it looks like I've removed the plastic and we'll just open it see it's a nice little protective cover on it pop that off like this and uh, alright so we see here uh, this part like this can plug into a wall like that and there's a, uh, a USB slot right there most likely for this cable so I'm imagining this cable here fits right in there see how that works and then documentation for the Y drive and then here is the actual Y drive which is uh, it's very light. Uh, you know, it's bigger. It's bigger than an iPod Touch, but it's still very light. It has this plastic on it. I'll just take that off and take off the other film on the back. Brilliant. So, uh, yeah, this is what the uh, Y drive looks like. It does have a battery inside of it. I do believe that that battery, from what I've read, can last a few hours on a on a charge. So when I want to charge it, of course, I just plug uh, this little small end here into there and then plug this into the wall and that will give it a charge. And then I can just connect this Y drive straight to my computer and put all the files on it, download the app from the app store and uh, be able to connect to the Y drive uh, from there. Uh, also, from what I understand, if your iOS device is connected to the Y drive, uh, unless you do some specific router type settings you wouldn't be able to actually connect to uh, your network in general so you have to choose between whether you want to be connected to the Y drive or connected to the internet as a whole but from what I've read there is still a way to access both the internet and the Y drive at the same time which you'll have to do uh, have to do some technical stuff which may not be that hard but it may be hard enough so yeah, this is just uh, the Y drive from Kingston, 16 gigabyte version. I wanted to show you this, and I'm going to be playing around with it, see how well it works, and look forward to a review on it sometime in the future. So until next time, I'm Jeremy from Gadgetel.com, and I will see you later.